afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this very momentous occasion. As some of you may know, less than 1% of all high school athletes get to call themselves collegiate athletes. So today, we are watching history in the making. We are watching someone become a part of the illustrious 1%. Today, we will watch a Maverick become a Lobo. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mr. Jacob Salinas. It's so excited to see all these people out here because this is our first open attendance letter of intent. So this is a big way to celebrate Jacob and all of his accomplishments. And at this time, I would like to introduce Coach Villasenor for a few words. Uh, good afternoon and, and welcome to all, uh, all that are here in attendance in support of Jacob and, and the Salinas family. Quite a ride, quite a run. Uh, certainly a, a highly successful season by our, by our baseball program, uh, our kids, uh, our coaches who do a fantastic job uh, with, with, with all of them. And uh, it's certainly uh, a great way to celebrate and enjoy the successes of that. And congrats to Jacob and to the entire Salinas family, to, to the baseball kids and to the family members, friends, and of course our faculty and staff here in attendance. Uh, fantastic job. Uh, and, and just want to wish you on behalf of, of Wynn High School and the, the athletic uh, department here at, at Wynn High School the best of luck. Uh, we wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors and you always have a, an open door here with us and God bless. All right, best of luck to you. And now to welcome you to his campus, we have campus principal, Mr. Diaz Weber. Good afternoon, everyone. It is very, I am very astonished. This is uh, after having this type of event for so many years, for the past 17 years. I think this is the largest crowd that I've ever seen in a letter of intent. So thanks to all of you for being here this afternoon. Uh, definitely, we are very proud of Jacob and his accomplishment, not only on the field, but also in the classroom. And we want to wish on behalf of CC Win administration that everybody that works here at CC Win the best of luck to Jacob. I know that you are going to do awesome in Alpine and the other fields where you're going to be playing, right? And to the family, mom and dad and brother and sister, congratulations. Very proud moment. And you will always be remembered an outstanding player, an outstanding student, and an outstanding person. So thanks again. Uh, to all of you for coming to CC Win, I love to see no mask, and uh, because it is back to get back to normal, and, and, and this is a good moment for that, and and that's the intent, you know, that we go back to normal uh, the way it is. So, Jacob, you will be missed. I know that after tomorrow night you will be an alumni, and remember, this is your alma mater. It will always be your alma mater and you will be an awesome alumni. So best of luck in Alpine, and hit that ball hard, and hit those books harder than that, right? So thank you very much. Today we are here to celebrate Jacob's amazing athletic accomplishments, and to give us a little bit more insight on just what those are, we introduce Coach Ramirez to say a few words. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, on behalf of Coach Royce and the Royce family, um, our coaching staff and, and, and their families, the Wynn Baseball Program, uh, we want to thank everybody for, for attending uh, this afternoon and uh, joining Jacob and the Salinas family on a special moment. Um, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Salinas, uh, again, congratulations. Uh, thank you for trusting us as coaches uh, and confiding in us, uh, working with Jacob and Jared as well. Um, and we'll continue to do that, uh, no doubt. Uh, Jacob, thank you for your commitment. All right, thank you for your hard work. Uh, obviously, uh, it's paying off. Uh, thank you for your leadership and guidance, okay, throughout uh, with, with the underclassmen, all right, including your, your younger brother, all right. Um, we wish you nothing but the best, okay? Uh, no doubt you're gonna excel in the diamond, in the diamond and, and in the classroom as well, academically. 
continue to pave the way, okay, uh, as others have paved the way uh, for you as well, okay. Uh, continue to compete at a high level, okay. Uh, no doubt you're going to represent win baseball uh, at its best, okay. Um, and don't forget, our doors are always open. Uh, come back, all right, give back. I know we've talked about this before, uh, including Coach Royce. Uh, provide that knowledge and inspiration uh, to the rest. Okay, uh, again, we wish you nothing but the best. Uh, God bless. Uh, go Lobos, and obviously, go Mavs. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, Coach. Now, dreams become a reality when you put in the hard work, the dedication, but most importantly, when you have the support of everyone surrounding you. And I think we can all agree, Jacob has had a lot of support just by looking at all his fans here in this room. But his biggest support comes from the people sitting to his right and to his left. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to his biggest support system, Mr. and Mrs. Salinas. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, we are so happy to be here today, and I'm a little emotional. <laughs> I was supposed to write something down. I just, it's gonna come straight from the heart. We are very proud of you. You have no idea. We love you. I have to be brave because that's what I always tell him when he goes to play. When you are scared, you have to be brave. So I just want you to know that we are very happy for you. We wish you the best. And I want to thank each and every one of you here. You guys are a great sports star. Thank you. Well, good afternoon. First of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, without everybody here, uh, and plus some people that couldn't be here, uh, this wouldn't be possible. Everybody here has supported Jacob at one point or another, whether it's Little League or T-ball or anything like that. Um, I can't thank enough the high school coaches. Uh, when he came in, he had different coaches. His old coaches, uh, old coaches, I'm sorry, gave him the opportunity, followed by his new coaching staff. We're proud of all the coaches here, whether they've been, you know, been a part of them or not. Basketball, every coach here has a, has a big part of it. Especially teachers, counselors, everybody had something to do in it. Okay? Um, we're really proud of Jacob and what he's accomplished. Uh, his travel ball coach in San Antonio, Mr. Mike Luna. Uh, we can't say enough about you know, what he did with Jacob as well as far as you know, guiding them and uh, telling them how he's supposed to you know, go about signing with universities and all the long nights, you know, phone calls and internet he had with him, going back and forth with, you know, universities. We thank Mr. Mike Luna a lot as well. Um, I can't name names right now as to who I want to thank because I'm afraid I'm going to leave somebody out. But it's so many people. Thank everybody. And I want to wish Jacob the best of luck. And uh, his brother coming up next too. So I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. And, uh, you know, go Lobos. Thank you. Okay, I'm a little more composed now. I just want to know, I just want you to know, Jacob, that we are going to go see you. And I'm going to be doing this to you just like I did at every game. And now it is the moment we've all been waiting for. The moment you watch pen get put to paper and a letter of intent and the next four years is signed. Jacob, are you ready to become a Lobo? Well then there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for Mr. Jacob Salinas.
And at this time, we will hear from Sol Ross's newest athlete, Mr. Jacob Salinas. Uh, good afternoon. I want to thank everyone who came out to support me as I start a new chapter of my life today. I want to thank administration, uh, Mr. Diaz, Ms. Purcell, Ms. Hernandez, uh, Ms. Teal, Mr. Yu, uh, um, and everyone who helped make today happen. Um, I also want to thank all my teachers who are up there in the stands somewhere. Raise your hand, please. <laughs> Y'all helped me uh, throughout the years as a freshman. I know Mr. Rivas bullied me a lot. <laughs> um, and helped push me to be a better version of myself. I also want to thank my coaches who are over here, uh, Coach V, Coach Ram, Coach Gomez, Coach Lopez, uh, Coach Salinas, uh, Coach J. I said Coach V, right? <laughs> and um, my old coaches as well. Uh, Coach Torres is up there. Uh, Coach Cruz couldn't make it today. Coach Gus, I don't think he's here. He couldn't make it. Coach Flores is um, up in Del Rio. He's kind of busy today. And um, Coach Royce as well, my head coach for three years. And one more person I want to thank was uh, Coach Mike Luna. He's up in San Antonio. He helped me uh, tremendously on where to be, um, where I am from. <laughs> He helped put me where I am today. I want to thank my parents for everything they do, everything they've done for me. Don't cry. <laughs> uh, they've always made sure that I've had the best stuff, the best equipment. Put <laughs> They've always made sure I've had the best stuff. <laughs> 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 They've always made sure I've had the best stuff to help me succeed on where I am. I want to <laughs> Julie, don't cry. <laughs> Julie, I also want to thank you too, because you were always at my practices. Sitting in sub. I felt bad sometimes. <laughs> I couldn't be here. <clears throat> You're always here from countless hours here at the school, in your little, your little hideout, snack and snack of the teachers. <laughs> and you're always at all of my games. I just want to thank you, Jimmy. Jerry, I don't see you crying. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, I just want to say that I love you now. Even though I'm a bit mean to you sometimes. I love you. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Alex. Alex. Not only my cousin, but one of my best friends. He's always been there for me. And I just want to thank you too. Steven as well. You're me too. <laughs> you tell me a lot of stuff, but I love you too. Jacob Salinas fans in this room right now, but before every ceremony, I always take some time to speak to our man of the hour to see who they would like to come up and say a few special words. People that have been with them at the beginning, 
and been on this path with them. And he has chosen several. But up first, he picked the Garcia brothers, Stephen and Alex. All right, well, um, good afternoon. As I stand here, I can't help but share all the memories me and Jacob have together, along with Julie, Jared, and Alex. From wiffle football games in the backyard to those four or five hour practices your dad would have at Cello's Field. The games turned to hard work and the countless home runs in the backyard turned into fielding 200 plus ground balls at practice. So first and foremost, I wanna congratulate Jacob for his accomplishment. Not many people do what he's doing right now. Many people dream of it, many people work hard for it, and only few achieve it. In the near future, I want Jacob to know, th to take with him three words, ability, motivation, and attitude. Ability, I want you to know that you're capable of doing anything you set your mind to. If throwing in the 90s is something that you want, go and do it. Motivation. It's what you do and it's what you do and how you do it. Continue to be motivated to be the best you. Strive to be the best brother, son, student, and ball player out there. At last, attitude. This word has a big meaning. It's how you come, how you have the energy to do things the right way and conquer what's in front of you. The right attitude will take you places just like it has right now. So remember three words, ability, motivation, and attitude. I want to end this quick, so congratulations, Jacob, once again. I know your family, friends, and coaches are extremely proud of you and your achievement. God bless, and go Lobos. Uh, good afternoon. First and foremost, I want to congratulate Jacob and his family to commend in, the commitment to Sal Ross. Uh, Jacob, I uh, hope you know how happy I am for you that you get to continue your uh, baseball journey. Uh, hearing you talk about your goals and achievements that you've been wanting to accomplish for so long, it's finally here. Um, I really couldn't be any prouder of you, dude. You're like a little brother to me, literally. Um, I can't. I can't wait to see you accomplish all those great things that are ahead of you. As I know, this is just the beginning of the stepping stone. Uh, your family has watched you cheer. Uh, has watched you cheered in your games. Uh, wear your number proudly. Uh, screamed and yelled from the stands, from a tr your trial ball team hype to to Valor to now TPU. And I was going to follow on from Wynn to Sal Ross. Uh, you have become a great player. You played strong, tough, and hard. These memories and stories of your high school baseball days, well, you would cherish them, and they're going to keep repeating in your head, and you're going to have memories and practices and stuff. It's going to hit you hard. Uh, so with that being said, Jacob, uh, I just want to congratulate you once again. And make sure when you get to Alpine, you keep grinding because that's what you do. You grind until you get what you want. It's going to be tough, but I know you, you'll accomplish it. We have, comp we have confidence that you'll accomplish it. Um, and I love you, dog, but stay safe, and I'm going to call away. Uh, last thing being said is my school, and I'll be proud of me saying this because we're in the same conference and stuff, but go Lobos. Up next, Jacob has selected Isaac Garza. Um, good afternoon, my name is Isaac. And at this time, I would like to congratulate Jacob on such a great accomplishment. Hard work definitely paid off for you. Saul Ross is very lucky to get such, an, such a humble, kind, generous, friendly, and outstanding athlete. Thank you, Jacob, for the numerous years of true friendship 
and thank you for always being there for me no matter what. And also, a generous thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Salinas for allowing me to spend countless days and nights at your house, permitting, permitting us to make memories as friends even when off the field. I will forever be grateful for your hospitality. Jacob, all I can say is play hard, work harder, and most importantly, have fun. Go Lobos. I'm back now that I'm feeling better. <laughs> um, I just want to uh, thank my tios and tias that are here for always going out to support me here, so, um, here and in San Antonio, wherever I play actually. Um, they're always there and they're always cheering me on. Josie, see you right there. You're always there. JC, I don't, where are you? He's up there. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, thank to my grandma, my grandparents we're always making meals for me before we leave San Antonio and I love all of you and, we're going to <laughs> <laughs> and sadly uh, my two grandpas couldn't be here today <laughs> they passed away but I know they're watching over me from up there, from upstairs. And I know they're watching over all of us. And I just want to thank them for always pushing me and believing in me, even when I did it. I just want to say I love you, Papa, Papa. And I miss y'all. I think we can all agree that both of your grandfathers are smiling down on you right now at this moment and are extremely proud of you, just like everyone in here, especially all of your family members. And now, last but certainly not least, rounding out Jacob's top picks is the one and only coach, Cindy Salinas. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. It's been very emotional so far. <laughs> um, it's always great when one of our kids is able to go on and play at the next level, but today is a little, a little extra special. I've watched Jacob grow and mature these past years, and I could not be more proud of everything he has done. Through all his accomplishments and accolades, Jacob has stayed humbled and focused on his goals. He set a standard for himself and was willing to make the sacrifices and do the work to go after it. He's dedicated his free time to baseball and has spent countless hours improving his craft. He has spent his summers at ballparks under the blazing Texas sun, just trying to get closer to his goals. And I'm happy to say we made it here today. Um, I know a big reason Jacob has been able to do all these wonderful things is because he has an amazing family behind him. Jacob and Claudia, you guys have done a great job raising this young man to not only be an outstanding athlete, but a leader, a, an amazing leader in person as well. And it is obvious to anyone who meets him. You guys have been as dedicated to Jacob's dreams as he has been, and he could not have a better set of parents than y'all. Some of my favorite moments from this crazy COVID year, guys, was watching you and the rest of the baseball team win our district championship title. Good job, boys. <laughs> and advancing in playoffs. Jacob, watching you watch off, walk off the mound after every inning, maintaining your composure and knowing that you had a job to do was really something amazing to see. You're an old school player who plays for the love of the game and not for the hype. And I really wanted to emphasize that. Jacob is an amazing, humble player. He doesn't beat his chest. Cheering, on, <laughs> cheering you on with the rest of our rowdy crowd at every game was a highlight of the year. And if any of you had ever gone to the baseball games, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, thank you for always doing your best and giving us a reason to get rowdy. I know you have a lot left in you and I can't wait to see all the work you do at Sol Ross Kid. Go out there and show the rest of the world all that you can do. I love you, my baby cousin. <laughs> thank you.
I love that line, a reason to get rowdy. I think that exemplifies Maverick Nation, because there's always a reason to get rowdy at this school. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> And the ringleader of the rowdy, Mr. Maverick Nation himself, Assistant Principal Matt Uriegas, will come up for closing remarks. Good afternoon. Hey, thanks everybody for being here. You know, it is a true pleasure to be able to congratulate a maverick uh, of such humbleness, um, quiet confidence, you know, uh, silent dominance. You know, when he when he stepped on the on the mound, when he got up on the hump, it was quiet. It was silent. But he dominated and he had confidence. You know, and that doesn't come. Yeah, that's that's hard to come by. And I know that his his mommy and his daddy were with him there. You know, from from uh, coach's pitch all the way to now, from t-ball to now, and every time he took the mound. Mom and dad was there, plus a few coaches, plus a few family members, you know. So when we would see you on the mound with that dominance and that confidence, it's not just Jacob. He's got everybody standing behind him, and it's really good to watch, you know. When, when everybody comes together and you're slinging the ball and everybody's going down, he's taking them down. Uh, it's a pleasure to see. Uh, you know I love Maverick athletics, and there's nothing more impressive for Maverick Athletics than the family that we have, that we support, that we continually bring, and, and everybody's here showing it, so thank you all for being here. Um, we got another banner. Thank you to Jacob and the other seniors. We're going to put another banner up there. The last one was 2015, now we get to put up 2021, and uh, that's, you were a part of that, and we know it is a team sport. It's not always about one guy. But again, uh, from the deep black, silver and black part of my heart, I, I, love, I love you, Jacob, and I'm very proud of you, and I wish you the best of luck now as a Lobo. I can't wait to, you know, I, I always look at the scores, I always look at the sheet, I, always can, I can't wait to see it, whether you're on the hump, or whether they put you to smack the ball from, from first base, or whether you're DH and whatever you got, whatever role you got, you go and you, you do it like you always do, with quiet confidence and dominance, and I know you will. Felicidades, very, very much congratulations, and I am, I am very, very happy for you, and I wish you the best of luck. Go Mavericks, and, and again, go Lobos. I know I wasn't chosen to come up and speak, <laughs> but I just wanted to say I'm really proud of my brother for all of his accomplishments. We've been through the ups and downs of everything, and I just wanted to say congratulations and go low. I just wanted to say I'm really proud of you, Jacob, and through all the ups and downs that we've been through, and I know you've been really mean to me sometimes, but I can't wait to see you up on that mount one day. Go Lobos. Anyone else? <laughs> I don't think there was any better way to end this ceremony than seeing these two siblings come up here and speak from the heart. Taking the confidence that they've learned from their older brother to come up here and speak from the heart about their loved one. I think that speaks mounds about Jacob, but I think it speaks even more about the Salinas family as a whole. So big round of applause to this beautiful family sitting before you right now. Throughout this afternoon, we've heard words like humble, kind, reason to get rowdy, quiet confidence, hard work, attitude. These are all words that don't just make you a scholar athlete, they make you a role model. They make you someone 
that you want to become, you want to emulate. So Jacob, on behalf of Maverick Nation and EPISD, I want to thank you for setting a precedent, for being the example for years to come. Because the rest of all the teammates you're leaving in baseball now have someone to look up to. And with that being said, I would like to invite everyone to please rise for one final reason to get rowdy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jacob Salinas, Sol Ross Lobo.